everybody. My name is Mindy. Um, I have an amazing little sister who is very, very smart. She graduated from college. She told me that I should make a documentary about my weight loss surgery. I'm getting the sleeve in two days. Um, today starts my liquid diet for surgery. So far, so good. I woke up to the smell of bacon running through my home. My stepfather said to make it. Why on the day that I'm supposed to stop eating did he do that? I do not know. But <clears throat> so far, so good. I haven't had a protein shake yet. Um, I'm really not even really that hungry. Although that bacon smells good. <laughs> Um, so let me tell you kind of how I got there. Um, I was diagnosed about four years ago with a very rare autoimmune disease called Bullies Comptoboy. If you look it up on YouTube, it looks a lot worse than the way I had it. Um, but it's very painful and it is very gross. Um, I get blisters on my legs and on my arms. And uh, basically what it is, is um, it's my body attacking itself. Um, it can attack any of my vital organs at any given time. My heart, my liver, kidneys, lungs, uh, skin. That's uh, where the bullies comfortable comes in. Skin is one of your biggest vital organs. You may not think so, but uh, it is. And uh, so I'll get these blisters all over and... It's uh, pretty painful. I haven't had any in uh, about a year now, uh, but I had to take a lot of steroids. Um, even came down chemo a few times. It had to be a very low dose, but so it was like less invasive. I didn't lose my hair or anything, and you know, so um, that hasn't happened in a year. Um, but. With all the steroids, I gained probably 120 pounds in a year. <laughs> and so <laughs> it doesn't end there. Um, I actually finally went and got some schooling and became an RA at an adult foster care home. Um, one of my patients had MRSA, though, and with the, you know, bullies pemphigoid, being around somebody with MRSA, it wasn't an option. I didn't want to get more stuff. And then um, one day I just noticed that my back just hurt so bad. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't walk. I couldn't barely crawl to the toilet. You know, like it was terrible. And um, so I went to the doctors and the doctors were like, oh, well, you know, you probably have a bladder infection. Let's give you some antibiotics. So come find out I never had a bladder infection they just wanted to shut me up um, and so for a good six months almost nine months I had to fight with people to figure out what was wrong with my back mind you I couldn't work couldn't work couldn't walk couldn't do anything and I've been trying to get help from the state um, I have two lawyers working on getting me SSI. I have not worked since June last year. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people that I like to work. I like to make money. I like to be doing something. And I have been trapped in a bed in pain. And nobody would listen to me. So good news is I have finally found a doctor who is totally awesome at um, Michigan Pain Consultants. Um, here in Wyoming, Michigan. Well, I think it's I think it's Wyoming, Michigan. It's over uh, off Gazan by the new metro. Only the people in Grand Rapids will understand that. But um, so I found them and I started going to physical therapy. And oh my God, my physical therapist. I call her the bone grabber. She um, she just lines me up so good. And I. It, it really is starting to make a difference. Um, I'm waiting to get some sort of new injections that they say I haven't had before. So some more poking and prodding and I have to just like work with the process and 
stay in pain constantly because, you know, they don't want to cover up my pain. It's, it's not going to help me in the long run. So, Okay, so um, that just gives you a little bit of background on me. Um, I, uh, I'm getting the weight loss surgery because I think it'll help my back. It'll get some of the weight off my back at least. You know, um, I have a torn L5S1, it's bulging, and uh, so my lower back hurts, and I can't really stand or walk. Um, yeah, so I guess that kind of tells you about me. Um, what else should I say? I guess uh, I'm not allowed, it's since it's, some people like have to go on diets like two weeks before surgery and uh, lose some weight but for me because I've been going through the process for a few years now um, they don't and I guess my BMI is not like super high up there so I don't have to worry about shrinking my liver because yeah that is a thing you got to shrink your liver um, but so I guess I don't have to do that so I just have to diet for two days so I have it pretty easy compared to my other friends that had the surgery done, they had to do it for two weeks, and I don't know how they did it. <laughs> but uh, I also, I saw, I also recently had to quit smoking. I quit smoking cigarettes mm, about five months ago. Um, yeah, I actually feel a lot better. Like my sense of smell and everything's great. Like, dude, it's so terrible to kiss someone who smokes when you're not a smoker. So. Uh, I think that'll be like one of my requirements for dating. Although I haven't had a boyfriend since like 2011 and I really don't want one. Um, well, I mean, I've thought about it, but, <laughs> but then, then I uh, sat back to reality. So I guess that's all that I think I have to say today. Um, and I will make another video tomorrow, and hopefully I might get a fan base and people will like me. Um, I will not be, like, putting nude pictures up or anything. I might, like, do, at the end, I might show my flabby flab. It's not now. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy my journey.